YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and in this video we here to talk about the game that we just finished watching between the Seahawks and the Eagles and those fly Eagles fly they got shot down tonight they got shot down um, so this I think it serves as a wake-up call for them. I think it serves as a wake call wake-up call for them. Um, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people saying was saying, "Oh, the Eagles, they haven't really faced a real team yet. They haven't faced a real team yet." And the only loss that they that they had before this was to a team that at the time had a winning record, which was the Chiefs. Um, but now they they went into Seattle. Uh, very tough game. I picked the Seahawks to win, but I didn't think they were gonna do it like that. I thought it was gonna be a closer game. I picked it to be a one-score game, but Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. And Seattle pretty much, it just felt like they just dominated, man. They dominated. They dominated. Um, but anyway, before we get into this, let me introduce myself. Uh, me, I'm Engraving Vids. This is my YouTube channel, Engraving Vids, and I'm a Ravens fan. And even though I'm a Ravens fan on this YouTube channel, we talk about the Ravens, but we also just talk football, period, as we're doing right now. So if you're a Ravens fan, you can subscribe. Or if you're a Seahawks or you're an Eagles fan, Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on uh, so you never miss not one video. You never miss not one video. Uh, and also, like my guy Ryan Mallet always says, make sure you leave a like on a video. Click the thumbs up button. It takes less than half a second and it's completely free. It's completely free. Um, and follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All three are engraving vids. Now, um, coming into this game, really all season long, and because they deserve it, the Eagles are getting a lot of hype. A lot of hype. I think actually, maybe a lot of people actually picked them to lose this game. I don't. I don't think them losing this game serves as a surprise to anybody. I don't think it's a shocker. I don't think it's like, oh my God, the Eagles lost this game. No. Um, Seattle, just such a physical team. Even without Richard Sherman, without Cam Chancellor, that without Cliff Averill, still a physical team, and they just outmanned the Eagles. They outmanned the Eagles. Oh, there goes Richard Sherman right there in the comment section. He said he, said he didn't even play. Um, they just outmanned him. They out-toughed him. Um, in the beginning of the game, it was tough. Uh, it was 3-0. to zero, And it, the game stayed stagnant for a little while. But then Russell Wilson, he just, he keeps on showing. This is why this guy's name needs to be. Whenever you talk about the top five quarterbacks in the league, his name needs to be up there. It has to be up there. It has to. Um, now, Seattle was getting a lot of calls in the beginning. They were getting a lot of calls in the beginning. And I was like, I don't know about some of those. They were getting a lot of calls in the beginning. But um, that kind of slowed down, uh, even though that did play a big part in the beginning of the game. Um, the, that played a huge part in the beginning of the game. Because uh, they, were, they were just getting, like, literally every single call. Um, and I didn't, I didn't like that. Uh, but I mean, it happens. You have to, you have to be in the position um, as a football player, as a team. You have to try to put yourself in a position to not let the refs decide the outcome of the game. Um, so I mean, you just got to do better. You got to do better. But I know Giants fans, Redskins fans, and Cowboys fans. Oh, they having a blast right now. They having a blast right now. They are having a blast right now. Reason being because their division rivals lost. And um, I feel like the NFC East is just, it's a different division. It's, a, it's such a different division. Because um, I know I've, I've had a lot. And not even just people from the, uh, from the NFC East, but a lot of people, football fans, period, like I was saying, they will come through on the videos. Whenever we do an Eagles video, they'll be like, oh, yeah, those guys ain't played nobody yet. They ain't played anybody yet. But my thing is, yeah, their competition might not have been the best in the world, but they can only play who's on their schedule. That's it. They can only play who's on their schedule. That's it. They don't pick who they play on their schedule. They don't make their schedule. They can only play the schedule given to them. So I still got plenty of respect for the Eagles at 10-2. and two. They'll be just fine. Trust me. They'll be fine. So it ain't, it ain't nothing to worry about, even for Eagles fans. Um... Eagles fans, I, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. 
You, this just means that you're not going to go 15 and 1. That's all it means. It just means that you're not going to go 15 and 1. That's it. I wouldn't stress out about it too much. Now, um, if you go to the other side, shout out to them Seahawks, man. The Seahawks came through. Um, once Russell Wilson and them got going, passing game heated up. Russell Wilson continued to do all his all his tricks. I love how he does he does it every game where he'll drop back, he'll scramble to one side, and then just spin around and then scramble to the other. I, I love when he does that, man. I love when he does that because it gets me hype. I'm like, man, this dude, Russell Wilson, definitely top five, man. Definitely one of the best quarterbacks right now. Definitely one of the best quarterbacks right now. Definitely one of the best quarterbacks right now. Um, he he got it going. And his receivers, at, Philly was holding them for a while, but Philly could only do so much. They could only do so much. And his receivers just started, it just seemed like they just magically started being open. They just started being open. And the touchdowns that he was throwing, wide open guys. Wide open guys. Wide open guys. Um, Seahawks actually had something that they haven't really had this year, and that was a running game. They actually had a running game today. And Eagles defense, um, they've been pretty good against the run, but tonight, uh, the Seahawks had a running game. From the beginning, I believe on the very first play, they got Russell Wilson involved in a running game. They did the little read option. Um, it was just... Seahawks, not only did they outman the Eagles in this game, but they outplanned them too. Their game plan was a lot better than the Seahawks. They made adjustments a lot quicker than the Seahawks. They jumped out to a 17-3 lead. They jumped out to a 17-3 lead. And I was hoping that um I was hoping that I was hoping the game would be a lot closer. I was hoping it would be closer. I was hoping it would be a more competitive game. Um, and it looked like it was shaping up to be that, but just didn't end up happening. Didn't end up happening. So, either way, it's all good. Like I said, Eagles, they'll be fine. And Seahawks, Seahawks are right in the thick of things too, man. Seahawks are right in the thick of things too, man. They are, they are right in there. Um, Seahawks is, I think they still got a shot at getting a division. I know Rams right now, Rams been rolling. But I still think Seahawks got a shot at getting the division. So, we'll see how that goes, too. Joe Flacco said, I predict Vikings versus Eagles in the NFC Championship game. Hmm. We'll see, man. Vikings been looking pretty good, too. I think Vikings are the number one in the NFC right now, I believe. Since the Eagles, since they, I guess they tied up with the Eagles now record-wise. Vikings, I believe Vikings take number one. And Eagles will take number two. So... NFC East ain't, I mean, NFC is not completely decided yet. Of course, neither one of the two conferences is. But this is why we play football. And this is great, man. But Eagles, like I said, I think this serves as a wake-up call for them. It's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. It's not the end of the world. I hope nobody acts like that because it's not the end of the world. It's one game. So they've, they've lost two games. They're definitely going to be in the playoffs. So they have that. And you just... You just gotta figure out how to tighten this up. You gotta figure out how to um how to get your offense going against those better defenses like the Seahawks. You gotta figure out ways to counter teams like the Seahawks. Counter the, the, those physical defenses. I know in the NFC East, they're not really used to like physical defense like that. This is more of a finesse over there. But this, like I said, this game, Seahawks just outmanned them. They outmanned them. And that was it. But yeah, oh, like Joe Flacco said, anything is possible in football. It sure is. It sure is. Uh, be, be More Business said, everyone keeps sleeping on the big man on campus, though, Case Keenum. I don't think anybody's sleeping on him now. People know who, exactly who Case Keenum is. They know exactly who Case Keenum is. Um, Case Keenum has earned respect uh, from a lot of people. He has earned respect from a lot of people. So shout out to Case, man. He just been he just been winning. He just been winning. And that's it. The Vikings, uh, their defense has been playing great. Today, I think it was more on the, the win was more on the defense than the offense. I mean, he he did complete like twenty passes in a row, I think. 
That was Casey. Yeah, that was Casey. He completed either 18 or 20 passes in a row in the second half. But, yeah, that, that defense has been nice. But Case Keenum has been doing pretty good, too. Today, he didn't have to do too much. But they did beat the Atlanta Falcons, who were getting hot. And they beat them in Atlanta, too. I thought they were going to lose that game. I thought Vikings were going to lose that game. But he's been doing his thing, man. Case Keenum has been doing his thing. So, yeah, that's a team to watch out for. That's a team to watch out for. So they got a shot as much as anybody, man. They got a shot as much as anybody. Um, the defense is playing really good. And Case Keenum, he's he's scoring. He's scoring. Not going crazy with numbers or anything, but he's scoring. And, yeah, like Be More Business said, he's not turning the ball over. So if you can do both of those things and you got a good defense, oh, man. No no wonder they're 10-2. No wonder. No wonder. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here now. I appreciate y'all. This was a fun game to watch. I enjoyed it. So, thank you. Again, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video. It's 30 people in here, but it's only 9 likes. Y'all make sure I click the thumbs up button. But anyway, again, and make sure you follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And again, me, I mean Raven Viz. And like I said, I'm a Ravens fan. And even though I'm a Ravens fan, we just talk about everybody on here. No matter what team you're a fan of. We, talk, we just talk football on here. So I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate you joining us. Um, I appreciate y'all. Thank you very, very much. I love all of y'all. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Y'all have a great night. Congrats, Seahawks fans and Eagles fans. Don't worry. Not the end of the world. We out.